Hello guys, so been messing with this tank not much. As you can see it's still full of taters, still full of fish. And two mollies over there, if you've just watched any of my other videos I've just put up about the same time, you'll know I've got them 15 new ones. 15 new mollies so they can all knock about together. I've moved this wood a little bit. It was a lot lower down, it's pointed a lot higher up now. Um, one of my plants is looking a bit, a bit sad. I think it's be it's getting blown over to that instead of standing up. But oh, there's a mass of corys. Super gaggle. We've got some shrimp down here. Oh, just just going away. But yeah, I've put six. Of can't see any of them. Six new autos in here. Oh, I'm talking talking potlucks. Look, there's some of them up there. So I put six new autos in here. On Saturday, so they've been in three days now. And they seem to be doing alright. But yeah, main thing I've done six autos and moved that wood so it's a bit higher, pointing a bit higher up, so I've got a bit of a better angle. I wanted a bit more height instead of just having the height at just this side with this big, big lump. It's quite steady in there at the minute, no one's even fighting. Normally, well, them, them two are dicking about, but it's normally Thunderdome with these uh, black rubies. That's why all the fins are ragged. They just fight each other all day, they love it. But yeah, I'm quite happy with my tank at the minute. So, I like my bigger aquascape, my, my bigger hardscape, sorry. Quite love that. I love that piece of wood. Not an unhealthy love, but you know what I mean. It's just a nice piece. Fits real well. Sort of exactly what I wanted. And uh, that one's not bad either. That's another otter over there. Look. They're everywhere. But yeah, I'm just going to go to the other side now. And we'll uh, have a look from that side. So I might have a bit of glare at this side because the tank behind has uh, got a light on I don't want to turn it off yet. And the big fat head's nearly out. Corys on Corys. Come on. But yeah, so from this side Similar view, but that's pointed away from us a bit. And you get a bit more action in this side for this piece of wood because you see all the little cave, there's a full cave network in there. It's where my Sammy's algae eater lives. He's, he's, got him, he's got himself his own base. I'm real happy for him. Look, just in there. Because he's so big and so fat, he eats no algae. But he's got a cave, whereas there was only ever one cave in here. And the ancestress had it. No, oh, no, I tell a lie. There's that cave in there which you can't get into. There's a leopard frog pleco in there, which you won't see. And there's also a leopard frog pleco in there, who lives in that cave there, which is just behind his house. But yeah, all, all in all, I'm enjoying my tanks. They're all going really good at the minute. I'm quite happy. There's a couple of lottos swelling about over here. Aren't So yeah, every, everything seems to be going alright. And I say I've just done another video on this one. All my little barbs. Just gone in this tank with the, the super horrors. But everyone's doing alright. And everything's going well. So, up to now anyway, I won't jinx it. Bye.